Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on unfair difficulty. Last time we got to Narmer 4 and we visited uh, the Mortis Asius uh, Center. If we look at our companion quests, we still got Alderi in distress and we need to go to Kia Varagama uh, and we got a new one. Um, Virbos uh, 6 has been purged of Xenos, but the raid leaders evaded capture. Information about uh, the pillaging has already been sent to the Astropathic Choir in Dragonos. A response may take some time to arrive. It would be unwise to spend it waiting on the poisoned penal world. Okay, and um, that's really fine. Yeah, we got a couple of errands uh, t uh, to do, but that can wait. And we got this here. Massive profit factor. Everybody seems to be looking for four people, which we only have so many of. Don't want to waste it. So let's warp to the Data Loss 9 si uh, system. But something happened. A mysterious sickness struck the clan. Living on one of the macro cannon chambers, a disease quickly spread, causing the um, afflicted to writhe with unbearable stomach cramps and expire um, after several days of agony. Before the officers could react, the neighboring clans took the issue in their own hand and flooded the chamber with carbon monoxide. Uh, the macro cannons um, was put back into service, but the vigilantes were punished uh, for subjecting the rogue trader servant uh, to mob justice. Oh well. There's always something happening. I feel very, very bad for the poor souls that are working in the machine rooms. And no further planet up here yet. But we have quite a bit of uh, travel options. I think we're going to take these planets next. But for now, let's visit uh, the system. I think we had one more side quest here. Oh, my lord. Lord Captain Drukhari ships are patrolling the system. The likelihood of slipping past the patrol is close to zero. Fabulous. In which case, we are going to engage. The Orga crew picks up a heavily damaged Xenos void ship amongst the countless rocks, uh, masses of the asteroid be uh, belt, and Alderi Vizel uh, beyond a doubt. According to the uh, Valencian archives, about 100 standard years ago, the Imperial Navy set up a barrier in the system against the pirates and the enemies of humanity. Uh, countless prime mines are still scattered amongst the wreckage. The Vox Master manages to tune the ship's systems in an unconventional frequency. The bridge suddenly fills with um, chime-like Xenos voices drawn out. Uh, mournful, they sing in an unknown tongue, but every officer in the bridge can sense that this is a dirge. Answering the call, Yerla jumps to the cogiators, uh, starting off the officers in the bridge uh, with her sudden jolt. The hopes of understanding the monkey's technology and figuring out how they can help her kin. Uh, the Alderi runs in circles around the blinking video screens, but the mysterious of the machine guts eludes the Xenos. Then she turns to the Lord Captain Powerless. Uh, Iliad asks the Eliak to help her kin, who have found themselves trapped in the sh uh, snare of fate. The Alderi have uh, innovated the weak in the song of Cry of Despair. But the cry is fading. Alright, let's communicate with them. However, the Xenos do not respond for incoming signals. After several attempts, the frequency turned to the Vox Masters get lost. The mournful song fades. Um, the logistics officer led by helmsman are ordered to plot a course to rescue the shuttle. Now the crew, uh, uh, that failed. Now all the crew can do is hope that the calculations are correct. Let's clear the minefield. After several hours pass on the ship's clock, the servants of the Omnissiah present a plan for neutralization of the ancient mines. The success of the operation is assessed as extremely probable.
All right, detonate them. On the Lord's captain's commands, uh, the ships cannon fire several pol powerful salvos. As soon as the shots uh, reach their mark, a cascading sound of explosions erupt within the asteroid field um, and spiral around the vessel. Once the explosions quiet down, the shard of the asteroid's uh, space debris and the void mines dissolve into the darkness of the void. The rescue team sets off towards uh, the intact Xeno ship. However, when the shuttle reaches the Xeno ship, the rescue team's report reaches the bridge uh, crew off guard. The vessel's starboard side have been breached by the macro weapons uh, of an unknown Imperial void ship. There are no survivors. Shielding her eyes, Iliad closes them and clutches the spirit stone at her breast. Uh, coming to, the Aldiri cannot speak for a time. With the notes of sadness in her voice, carefully picking her vo voice, she uh, concedes that the uh, Aldiri Tark did all they could to save her kin. And yet, the monkey who is responsible for the loss of the Aldiri void ship saddens her with pain. Well, that is indeed unfortunate. Very much so. Good. There are four Drukari patrols. I'm not sure if we can take all of uh, them. I've, I don't know. I mean, the last one... I, I don't know what's inside of these patrols. And the last one was extremely uh, cutting it close to three hit points. And I don't want to risk it. I don't know what the Drukari are doing. We, I think, need to level up our ship a little bit more. Sucks, but... There's only so much you can do. Okay. Hmm. We'll revisit uh, that system for now. We'll just leave it as is. Received a message from uh, the Ark Skellina on Dragonos. He closely studied the data from the incursion on Vibos Five, which uh, six, which was there. He promised to direct the efforts of his aides to identify those enemies of hu uh, human uh, humanity, so that the location can be determined. Master Skellina also reporting that the Drukari are getting ready for more attacks on your territory. Information uh, from his aides continue. Drukari excel at catching the opponents off guard. All right, stop the Xenos raids on your holdings. Well, I would love to do that if you let me know how. All right, we received a report from Dragonos. Some common folk um, now ruined, uh, now ruined uh, Scorpion 8-4 have succumbed to the heresy of defiance, forming into... Um, engine vandal gangs they now ride amongst the wastelands um, they have declared themselves outside the lore raiding the hives of the outskirts only to um, escape retribution in the toxic wastelands many of them did not want to obey your more than equitable decision to send them to the restoration uh, site and thus they have fled the labor settlement committing heresy and disobedience Rumor says that the brigand land, uh, clan leader in charge of the debris removal is in the ruins of Scorpion. Uh, uh, keep in contact. We could pass the words. I wish to hear what my advisors have to say. Um... Pascal, draft a message directed at the Omnisane Renegades. Let uh, them serve the acquisition of knowledge. The former servants of the Omnisire are now part of the Engine Vandals. We're glad to actively collaborate and redeem themselves from the eyes of the Dios Mechania, uh, Mechanicus. The common folk did not dare to uh, judge this union, fearing the menacing priests in Scarlet. The hive raids have become a rare occurrence. The expeditions are returning from the wastelands with relics that have been lost to the vast plains, which make their way to the dynasty's vault by the Brigadier clan. We lost Profit Factor. I don't like that.
All right, profits from water. And this here would be whenever the Wera performs a heroic act, they recover all um, all of their wounds and gain. Oh wow, that's a fantastic item. And this here is replenishing. That will always give you grenades. Okay, but I think we're going for the boots. I like them a lot. Lord Captain, disturbing reports have come from the quarries of uh, Vibus uh, 6. Uh, slave laborers have lost their minds. They forget to use tools. They huddle together and continue to stare aimlessly into space. Some people get obsessed uh, mm, with using their nails to claw out the blasphemous symbols uh, on tools, machines, and so on. None of them could be... Uh, mm, the Lost uh, have painted the walls of several mines with uh, symbols. They have gone deep into the mining tunnels, but none of them could have uh, could have been found. The wardens considered a per um, performance uh, to divert attention away from the escapes and the impeding rebellion. Have the guards monitor where everybody's going to? It's necessary to remove many of the wardens from their posts to conduct surveillance operations, but it did lead to the recently cleared tunnels as a result. Uh, an unnatural even wall covered in strange symbols caught their attention. The tunnel went down deep. Uh, the colony administration gave orders to conduct an active survey, uh, bent work in the sector, and had guards posted uh, for the origin uh, until the origin of the tunnel could be established. Efficiency, security, profit factor. I think we're going to go with Profit Factor and Replenishing Iron Eye Grenades. I like that. Uh, we're just going to travel further. I would love uh, to use Trinitos to here. Is that correct? From here to here, yeah. Okay. All right, Axel Iskander's reports Xenos raid against merchant ship on the signs of Mercy Gear. Where is that? The coordinates of uh, hypothetical contacts have been forwarded to the crew. If you uh, wish to support your subjects and fight back against the Xenos personally, you must hurry. Where is that? Rogue trader must act immediately. Mercy Grit. Where is that? Listen, guys, it would have been super helpful if you are just highlighting that. Forgotten Twins. Into a system, Telecos. There you go. Over here. Wasn't that difficult. Fantastic. Okay, we landed in Mersa Grit, and there are a couple of Drukari, and I won't stand idle by. To wait until they get the better of our system. They don't know who they're dealing okay, with. Okay, so what are we dealing with? Neutral ships? Ooh, cool. Multi-class mass conveyor. Uh, these seem to be ours. 
Oh, but we have five enemies. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so how are we going to play against that? Two of them over there. Uh, let's turn these guys around. That means they're nowhere to be seen if we're flying in here. Get one of them down immediately. Steer us to our target. And get the rest a little bit later. That's the plan. Send them into the cold boys. Torpedoes. Couple now. of torpedoes. Uh, we are going to take our front shields or our right side. I think the right side is going to be attack the moor. Can't hit anyone else, unfortunately. Alright, that's all I could do for now. Do not falter yet. Okay. Nice. Good hit. can't hit any of uh, these guys well in that case just leave them there Let destruction fall. one shot getting a little bit closer macro cannon, macro cannon battery explodes uh, this ship is essentially forced to take the explosion damage and we Let the turn around guide us charge a course jumping that was a cool maneuver Unleash your wrath upon my enemies. no it was such a good maneuver oh no Getting a little bit further away from them. Hmm. Unfortunate, man. Yeah, the big uh, frigates are absolutely massive. Need to hit them. Thankfully, our thankfully we can do that. This little turning around also helped. It plays on our path. A couple of torpedoes in their way. Micro cannons annihilate them. Very good. More movement. Front shields need support. And we have no more mobility. We're good. Torpedoes fly up. Can we steer the torpedoes? Nah, so close. So close, but... We won't rest until these guys are down. The storm of micro cannons. I have missed this feeling. Fantastic, that was a really good battle. 
new message from the Master Sandler Lord Captain. This time he's uh, not reporting yet another attack, but the um, alleged location of one of the Xenos leaders. Akiala's aides have reported that said leader will be heading attacks on the par uh, paradise world of Gantis. There's one catch. The planet belongs to Winterscale, another rogue trader. Master Scandler noted in his message uh, that uh, responding to a distress call un, uh, is unlikely to be considered an intrusion into someone else's territory. Governor of Gantis is most likely sent out a call for help uh, the moment that the raid begins. Okay. We got a nice little level up uh, here. Almost a level 5. The Unforgiven is doing very well. Uh, the question is, Gant is, where exactly is that? I have no idea. Ah, over here. Yeah, that's where we wanted to go anyway, so... We're on our merry ways there. A Lord Captain, there has been a tragedy on Dragonus. Governor Drive Steam has been dedicated most of his time restoring the Astropathic Choir. Uh, lost on the two of the Warp Stones. They heard something and cast it into madness. The Atherpaths have lost sleep. Uh, clawed at their skin to the flesh, muttered gibberish, and now has gone completely berserk. They have, um, and they had to be eliminated. And only a few of the most resilient astropaths are upholding the connection to Dragonus. But how long will they last? What is the cause of the affliction? Who knows? The scheme of a heretic from a cult of the final dawn. Perhaps it was planned. All right, bring me sanctioned astropaths. Woe to the any who try to resist your will. A wave of armed skirmisher and deterrence and swept across the expanse. The ship uh, crying the po uh, mm, these powerful captives have been brought to the astropathic um, choir to Dracon uh, uh, Dragonus. Naturally, this caused much bloodshed and many planetary governors have turned against the Valanian dynasty having so unceremoniously taken the valuable servants from them. The tragic uh, pestilence of the Astropas is not, uh, has not appeared again, but all of them have uh, appeared hearing strange whispers ever since the first day on the planet. All right. Um, the war raises momentum uh, to 175 whenever they kill five enemies in a row in one turn. That is a fantastic pair of boots. And we're continuing with a little bit more over here. All allies uh, gain carouse and suffer less toxin damage. That is great. I like uh, that. Uh, everybody gets hit chance. I like that even more. So we're going to do exactly that. And unfortunately, oh well, we could uh, go here. Nice. Replenish and mad kits. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Good. Uh, we just got these iron eye grenades, which are now replenishing. So. You guys are going to throw a couple of them. Very good. And secondly, we got... Um, whenever this wearer performs a heroic act, uh, all of the wounds are healed and they gain 2 AP. Who does have a pair of not-so-great... Uh, I 
Let's say I can really killing five enemies in a row. He is, however, doing a re he heroic act and giving him more actions. That will be good. I like that. What are your boots? I think in this particular case we can give her the momentum boots because I think that they that she has the best chance of actually killing five enemies in a row. At the start of the wearer's turn, they gain uh, armor deflection temporary wounds. When the wearer wounds drop to zero, they fall prone and gain uh, temporary wounds. The wearer becomes the primary target of adjacent enemies while prone. The wearer and no other allies... Okay. Uh, that is a tank item. One of the best ones that I've seen in a while. Cool. Very good. Um, now, what we wanted to do is we wanted to go to here and then fly over. Two points in order to safely start warp traveling over there. And we got an unchartered system. Very much like that. Colony Janus has taken a new step in the development. Troubling news arrived from Janus, your lordship. While digging up an, an uh, irrigation ditch, the workers have found Xeno Obelisk out of unknown material. It was delivered to the laboratorium. Uh, a number of tests, one of which caused a reaction. The obelisk generated low frequency vibration, and the events followed were catastrophic. A series of anomalies were recorded. Uh, it almost like Janus itself was fighting us there. Many logistical chains were disrupted. People who visited uh, the uncontrolled territories are. Wretches fleeing deeper into the regions, greater and greater numbers. The observers report that strange fires in the sky at the night, completely imperceptible to the orders. Esteemed uh, Altrequisitorios Al are gathering the freemen and daredevils for the expedition in the, to the heart of the region. They assume the priceless trove of Xeno mechanism is waiting for them. Uh, I think we can if we eliminate everything there that'll not spread what exactly is happening the vegetation demonstrated remarkable ability for wild growth okay how are the wretches involved we don't know um Isolate the region, commence research. It'll be done, your lordship. The afflicted region has been isolated. Soon after the quarantine, one of the escaped wretches emerged from the jungle, handed uh, the wardens who met them a parcel with some kind of a Xeno artifact, accept the gifts and leave the world in peace. Hmm, interesting. Um. Ooh, effectively removes traumas. That is good. That is fantastic. Good, we got a super good sword here. And we got replenishing scorchers. Um, resets cooldowns on all attacks and attack abilities. At the start of next turn, the user gets one uh, stack of staggered that lasts until the end of combat. What is staggered doing? Uh, okay. I like that sword. But replenishing this wouldn't be bad either. So let's start with that.
And you can only take one apparently. Okay, yeah, we since we have that, the other two are not available. Okay, good to know. Uh, what is what are the other options here? All enemies have. Nah, I think the scorcher isn't uh, isn't bad. That's a, a decent ultimate project. Okay, um, let's visit Kerpri because we haven't been here yet. Starting with a destroyed ship. Beginning our scan. Ooh, Xenotech, that is good. Oh no, we don't have any excavators. <laughs> All right, that's really good. Xenotech is valuable. Rumor completed. Unknown mechanism. Yeah, I mean, look, we... Hmm. We could trade in people for profit factor. I don't know about that yet. Rumors. We did have bit by bit. Uh, what... What does that mean? They're in distress. Yep, that's fine. Grant is we're going there. We have an unknown mechanism, but I'm not seeing it. Unidentified void shift here, bit by bit. Rogue Trader's crew came across plundered vessel. Well, not much else we can do here, I suppose. I still want the excavation. The Xenotech is good. Uh, Prometheum would be fine as well. I think we don't have a lot. Not yet. And there is a bit of a distress call, so might as well go to the distress call zone and see what's up. All right, we My landed and I leveled up everyone. Uh, nothing specific to report other than uh, leveling up everybody like in their typical I role. A, a little bit more of no uh, what they flashes, could do beforehand. No Just pure white canvas. Skeletons are lying in a strange position as if one was either carrying or hugging the other one did not let go even in death. Okay, the gear is badly damaged and decayed. Let's carefully inspect it. <coughs> there are three things notely of worthy. Some sort of device that both are carrying, some shiny trinkets, <coughs> and a portable cogiator. Let's start with the cogiator. Uh, cogiator has been exposed to the elements for decades or even centuries. Small miracle that you, are uh, that you can even extract fragments. Um, Scout 1 were rich fly for carrying out loud what have you found uh, rich screw footfall uh, the expanse can go to the orcs we're out of here calyx is here we come okay i want a house on a planet fly you idiot you're still on a dangerous planet quit sending me your hollering get get back on uh, what you found already fly fly you're coming i'm coming for you you dumbass you're not responding to this mess uh, with me, your dead meat. Okay, well. Uh, these pieces of tech suggest it's a rudimentary radar jammer, and the trinkets are clearly of Xenos origin. 
So they might think that they have been the rich. World trembles beneath my feet. But clearly whatever got them was dangerous. Naval service, that was barely a challenge. Oh, there is a transmitter here. The skeleton of a decayed tech priest robes are missing uh, the right leg, judging from the remains of the bones. Seems the person was still alive when it was happening. They reached this uh, spot with crawling rather than walking. Okay, this looks not good. Not good at all. They, were, they had a radar jammer, so I'm wondering... If that has anything to do. Had that anything to do? Um, we are the spearhead of the Imperium. Curtsies, eloquent glances, hmm. even an immortality. I don't like the situation. It's been a long time since I saw anyone Got some cover the here for her being ambushed, and so devotedly at that. Will you be putting that in your reports too, Van Kalox? All right, let's just use our tank here conscience. for now. If you dare upset Lady Cassia, by the stars, I will make sure you regret it. Ancient remains. There is something more to be found here. Who thought that was a good Possibility idea? Possibility to them and who these bones belong to just by judging. <sighs> a nice little stroll. Okay, but there is no enemy here, so we should be good. Uh oh. No way. Five turrets. Alright. I'll eat my words. We're absolutely not okay. Alright, I positioned everyone on the right hand side. These cannons will be our first targets. And these turrets here, hopefully, we got enough cover. And Heinrich should get uh, that one going. So, Saiken is the first one to start. I don't like where this is going. That's well, not great at all. I will triumph. I'll do it. Good. We only got two turn, uh, two actions. And that's so little damage. Why do they take so little damage? Cannot move. Did a lot of damage. And they have way too much armor rating. That's why they... And 9 deflection. That is the problem. Okay, so we gotta reduce that. I Eat this grenade. Has done exactly zero. Okay, we're. I'll do it. Forced to hit, and. I refuse. Hmm. Bit of an armor penetration. Yeah, it's slowly starting, but we're just in the first phases, so we're Gucci. Um, Me. If you we got a free stratagem uh, for one round. All enemies in the area are forced to reroll successful dodge and parry checks, and they automatically die if they have 14 or less wounds. Okay. All enemies in that area. Okay. Well, that's easy. Then dealing some damage uh, just by horror, uh, by walking nightmare, because they do have a lot of toughness, and reducing that deals damage in turn. Then healing ourselves with revel and light.
putting a back, li uh, back line here and a rear line the uh, there. Cassia will get another full turn, so I'll just put her in there. There is a full turn. Reducing the next turret, which is good. Um, could hit this turret for 40, which I think is a good start. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Or we're buffing, which isn't bad either. Let's buff our Genta. Give her a little bit more of this. And we can't give her another turn because she already had her extra turn. But we can give Saiken a turn. Which he can use. In order to buff. And buff a little bit more. And then deal some damage. It's not as good as the damage that we would have dealt otherwise, but it is fine. Uh, how many stacks do we have? Eight, right? Okay, well, let's lose a couple of them. I will triumph. End the flesh. Good hit. The Good spirit. shot. Six points of damage. So that was a net net positive turn. And we're good. Which brings us to another free uh, stratagem. Chooses a combat area for one round. Uh, mm, all attacks by allies in that area will inflict the overwhelmed uh, condition. And that's exactly what we're going to do. There you go. Overwhelmed. Hitting that uh, turret hard and fast. I think we want to overload. And try to get the thing down. Alright, single target, damage overload. Pascal. Yeah, well, we're not inspecting anything yet. Stronghold stratagem. More armor, more deflection for you guys. Fantastic. And... Make it easier to hit this turret here, because that's our next uh, big target. Also, shift the zone over. There we go. Wow, okay. That was unfair on so many levels at your beck and call race for impact we're good i will do my duty taunting this guy at your beck and call sprinting over less damage um you're going to be our personal sworn enemy. It will be done. More temporary hit points and well let's uh, start going to town. No. Well, so much for the taunting, right? So that clearly has not worked. And we're out of cover. Fa fabulous, as they say. Moves to here. More damage. For the weak. Lots of hits. Deeds is worth it. I'll do it. One more round, and I think we're just continuing. That was super effective. Good. We're off to five stacks. Genta is doing a good job. Everybody here. 
Uh, Saiken could take cover here. It's at least covering against a couple of uh, the enemy turrets. That. Plus Ruin that. Beckons. Plus everybody gets some extra uh, bonus damage. Cannot infuse Argenta. But I think we can kill the turret. One step closer. 150 points of damage. By the uh, light of the Emperor and we're up to 17 charges. That's good. Can give him an extra turn. That would be awesome. Can we? Yes, we can. Isn't this a job for the service? That. Plus if that. Cassia shifts over I this am a here. Navigator, not a servitor. Step aside. Then the moves to here. Can't move that other zone because we already moved ours. Never mind. Uh, but we can buff up Psychen. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Me? Give him an extra turn. If you insist, Lord Captain. And uh, Psychen could almost hit that thing. Good chance for him to kill it, Amidst and the courage, we're going to do exactly I that. Find purpose. Purpose guides me. Only 60, unfortunate. If I Shifts may. this area. Isn't this a job for the serfs? And hit the turret with Zone of Fear. Oh no, Abelard was affected as well. That's unfortunate. Free stratagem to you guys. Oh no, you. Same problem as always. If you click, then you're staying in the open. That is really unfortunate. That was a miss. Make it easier to hit uh, this turret for others. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. Defense over there. Buff for everyone. And everybody gets joint analysis. Right, Abelard. This guy, uh, this turret should already do, attack him. Duty. He has a ta taunting scream there. I've seen worse battles and than this in my time. I wasn't aware that there's a third turret over here. That You're and that. Huh? And he's just going to town. Very nice, good hit. We're shooting again. Uh, 
Doubt is for the weak. And this is as good as it gets. Faith without deeds is worth. A couple of hits. We're not going to use any of that yet. Instead, we're going to use the finest hour. But not uh, after. I need no guidance. You have been properly buffed. Is she affected by the Emperor? Word of the Emperor? Yes. Okay. Don't need to rebuff that. Me. There is no mercy found in my heart. I'll do it. With the extra damage, we should be able to take As one the of these Emperor turrets commands. down. You, my Emperor. This is why I was chosen. Look at that, so little damage. <laughs> Unreal. You, my emperor. I'll do it. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. As the emperor commands, I act. Couple more hits. We didn't get it down. I'll do it. I Which is in unfortunate. That is not the emperor's will. But we got to reload all of our weapons, and that is okay. Cool. Through chaos, we're moving further I forward. Stride. Unfortunately, can't hit that yet. Can't hit that either. This here would be a hit. I think we're just going to beckons. go with that. One step closer. Ninety-five percent shot missed. Lamentable. Pascal gets a couple more st uh, stats, and we got another round. Which we might use in order to finish that thing. I need more satisfying device. Mm, 222 points of damage. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Cassia gets a turn. Moves up. Uh, moves this zone I to here. Am a navigator, not a servitor. Uh, heals up Pasco for free. I think we can't do anything else. That's unfortunate. If I may. Moves to here. Isn't this a job for the serfs? It's the enemy. Uh, we could hit it, but it would also hit Pasco. I can't let that happen. Nope, that's too much damage. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Can't buff anyone else. We're good. I 
have read tomes of military tactics. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Good. I'm not Here we go. To being nice little damage, and we're just continuing with that, to be fair. Darkest hour. Or finest hour. Uh, goes to Argenta. After healing her. In the name of House Orcelio, I shall prevail. Rejoice in battle! Ruling you. Alright. <laughs> and our little shenanigans with all Doubt of the, uh, the extra. As the Emperor commands. Extra I'll turns I'll have I'll finally. Paid out, uh, paid out to be Faith without ex is extremely useful. I was chosen. Doubt is for the weak. For you, my emperor. I'll do it. Okay. Good stuff. Me? Move this over. If you insist, Lord Captain. Make it a kill zone. And we're good. Pascal. Shields me. Unfortunately moves up. Request approved. Deals damage, uh, overloads his plasma weapon. Deals unfortunately some damage to himself, but such is the price of success. My place is at the fore. It will be done. At your back Good. And call. Taunt. I will do my duty. And Argenta moves a little bit closer. In righteous fury. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without deed. <laughs> And then destroys it. Wow, that was a tough fight, man. The world will bow. If they would have uh, gotten uh, the better of us, we would have definitely lost quite a few. I'm enraged. Wow. Overall, so much damage that they were dealing. Lots of money fil uh, filament uh, grenades. And we got ourselves, like, what? A shuriken pistol and a makeshift heavy Xeno mash. Uh, that is good. Heavy armor. Pre um, that's actually really good. Let's see, is uh, that better than what we're wearing? Uh, arguably. Five wounds, more deflection. Yeah, that, that's not bad at all. We're at 60 armor now. Uh, and still rocking a decent uh, dodge. Wow, good. I shall not be deterred. Perfection. 
But apparently a little bit can be gained from time to time. Ruinous and Xeno trophies are valuable. Intriguing. I'm restless. This task should have been accomplished. Ugh, my faith shields me. Predictable. Embrace true power. I will endure. Failure stings. Good, we got. <coughs> We got a bit of loot. Well, that's, I think, pretty much it. Investigate the entire structure. You identify a number of elements in the structure. Long-range antenna designed for standard Imperial co uh, colonies. Cogator, the Alderi beacon, half a dozen of other uh, devices of varied o origin. They all have one thing in common. The tech is designed to transmit basic symbols, uh, signals to neighboring space. The most common uh, being request for assistance. So some uh, load of this miserable place with transmitters in the hope of uh, finding someone uh, that will land here. Very good. But who would set uh, such an indiscriminatory trap? The intended lure to the Alderi humans or anyone else? Says the Cogiator. Well protected against unauthorized access, in which case all we can do is blow it up. And we got some iconoclast uh, uh, out of that, which is fine because we're helping every uh, everyone uh, with their lives. I think that's the right thing to do, by the way. Sure, I've played an iconoclast playthrough and not a dogmatic one, but well, what can you do? Now Nothing you're stuck with... Zealously following the Emperor. Good. And I think that's pretty much uh, the sum up of uh, what has happened in this episode. I would say thank you. Uh, that, was a, uh, that was a good f uh, f uh, episode with a little bit of everything in it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. And we're going to see each other in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you and have a good one. Bye-bye.